Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the multiverse, the universe, planet Earth, and beyond. My name is Evan LeFevre. I am here making a video in response to the DA-14 asteroid that is headed our way February 14th. It's not scheduled to pass us. It's actually scheduled to, to hit us, which is not good. Uh, as far as we can tell at this point in time, the tra trajectory is it's going to hit us. So that's not good, all right? It's not good at all, no matter where it lands. It's not going to be good. So we also have an asteroid coming at us called Apophis, okay? That's coming in 2029. But that's like a long time from now. We got to think about DA-14, which is coming right at us. And how we do that is we come up with a asteroid interception system and that can be done in less than a year because if you don't know this is 4 10 2012 all right that means we have less than a year to intercept this thing so what do i mean by an interception this is what we do we create a fleet of thousands of shape-shifting robots and we launch them directly at the asteroid. One of these robots docks on the asteroid, drills itself in, and then starts to shapeshift its body into a puzzle piece. Now the others flock to that puzzle piece and they too shapeshift. And what they do is they connect to each other, forming a cocoon around the entire asteroid. So these shape-shifting robots dock on an asteroid, they shape-shift into a cocoon around it, and now all of a sudden we are in complete control of this asteroid because each one of these things, these robots, has a jet propulsion engine on it. So we're talking about being able to stop any asteroid in its tracks. So naturally what we would do is we would strategically place about 22 or 24 uh, orbiting satellites to circle the entire planet Earth and uh, way far out, okay? Not so close, so these things can see what's coming ahead of time. And on these orbiting satellites, this is after we take care of DA-14, we put these orbiting satellites out there that are armed with this fleet of anti-asteroid robots. And what we do is we literally hunt down asteroids with this, these fleets. We hunt the asteroids down and we gain control of them so we can control as many as possible. So whenever we tag one, we bag one. And then it's up to us what to do. We, can br we could safely bring an asteroid to Earth, set it down, and dismantle it piece by piece using this technology. We can do whatever we want with the asteroid at that point because these shape-shifting robots have encircled it and are in complete control. So basically what they do is they turn the asteroid into a spaceship that we are in control of. And that is cool. And not only is it cool, it's one of our only chances because rule number one when we're dealing with asteroids Rule number one is you don't blow them up. Only an idiot would try to blow this thing up to lessen the impact, okay? You're spreading the impact. What we're talking about here is dodging one bullet safely with my idea. We're dodging the bullet safely because we are in full control of the bullet. Where it's full control of the asteroid. If you try blowing that thing up, do you know what's going to happen? That thing is going to turn into a spread shot. Each one of the little rocks being as severe as the initial one would have been. So that is, get that off the table right now. There's no, there's going to be no trying to blow this thing up. That idea is off the table, guys. And there's nothing else really we can do except for get a robotics team together this is what I need I need a robotics team who are the most skilled robotics experts on the planet 
who have proven technology up and running and that can help us get this up and running in less than a year. Then I want some of the greatest video game designers of all time designing the newest video games. I want them to come and design an artificial intelligence program to operate these anti-asteroid robot fleets. These transforming robots will go and attach to an asteroid as if it was a video game artificial intelligence doing what it's programmed to do. So we're taking the best of robotics, we're taking the best of artificial intelligence programming, and we're combining them together to create this robotic fleet in less than 12 months. Not only creating it, but launching it in the direction of DA-14 to neutralize the threat. Now this is an easy plan. We don't need to think about what it's going to cost. All we need to think about is getting it done. We have less than a year to get this done, you understand me. Forget this painting it plan. We don't want to nudge this thing, okay, so that it can come back and hit us again in some kind of a loophole or something because we didn't calculate what we were trying to do. No, we're not going to take that kind of a risk. What we're going to do is we're going to do my plan. We're going to use the fleet of transforming robots to encircle the entire asteroid and thus giving us full control over it with the jet propulsion engines that are built into each and every shape-shifting robot in the fleet, allowing us to bring asteroids to a halt in space. And there we go. A prison for an asteroid. Asteroid jail. So anyway, this is my response to DA-14. This should be our response to DA-14. Because we don't need to just try to dodge this bullet or push it out of the way. We need to say, hey, we, well, we're going to catch this thing and control it. And that's it. So it's not a threat ever again. And any other asteroid that comes our way, we are going to catch it before it gets near us and put it in asteroid jail. Okay? So anyway, that is the plan. I want to thank you. My name is Evan LeFevre. If I could assemble a team the way I need to, I can ensure that we survive DA-14, and not only that, but we will be in full control of the asteroid at that point in time. We can stop it to a halt before it even gets near us. So thank you. I hope you listen to me, because that's our only chance. Thank you.